Hey, fellas. Always good to hey, have you I here. I love, love being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, the board this week met and decided to choose someone for a new principal of the junior senior high school. Yeah, we are excited. Uh, Zach Canan, so he's officially under contract um, with Napoleon Schools right now as the Axon Lake principal, but it's the worst kept secret in Jackson yeah. County. Um, and it's not supposed to be a secret. We've, we've been very transparent with it on both sides. Uh, Jim Graham at Napoleon's been great mm -hmm. to work with, but I, I kind of explained this at our board meeting a couple nights ago where it's there are a lot of principal jobs out there and you just don't know what you're going to get for applicants. Mm -hmm. And in comes Zach, who has educational charisma, and he has um, the, the culture fit, and there were just, he checked every single box, so we are thrilled. How important is culture fit when you're bringing people in? Because, you know, you've worked so hard on culture at Michigan Center. I would say, and this is um, kind of indicative of what we're doing at Michigan Center and have been for a long time, culture and relationships are number one. Mm -hmm. We can teach anything else, um, we can, figure everything else out, but we can't make you fit. Yeah. And when you have that, it is priceless. So that's what we uh, make sure our teachers, and that's what makes the staff at Michigan Center so great, um, is they understand and value that. Nice. Did you go to the prom this year? I did, yeah, I did. It was yeah. awesome. We did uh, Cascades Manor House nice. this year. That was a new venue for us. Um, there was a French fry bar. What? So put that on your with, with all the trimmings, and then right next to that was an ice cream sundae bar with everything. So what? it was, I don't know if the kids oh, the enjoyed it like I prom. did, but it was awesome, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Next year you're invited, we'll, there you we'll go. run that Thank back. Yeah. It was an awesome venue. Thank you, Cascades Manor House, yeah. it was awesome. It's great for the kids to be off campus for proms too. I always think that's so important, you know. It's so great for us too. Cool. So yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, get them out of here. <laughs> How many in the uh, class of 23 at Michigan Center? So it is a smaller class. Um, we will, we, we, we get that occasionally in a district our mm -hmm. size, so we will graduate something near 70 this year. That, that is small for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And then as you go back down, it, it bumps back up. Um, but it's, it's about 70. We wanted uh, to talk about the spring sports season. I, I know it's been challenging for all uh, yeah. schools with the weather, a lot of catching up this week, but you've got uh, some great success with spring sports. The soccer team doing really well. Yeah, the, our, our soccer coach, Ray Scaife, and actually Sarah Scaife takes a lot of the pictures, right? Yeah. And yeah, does right. an incredible job um, working for JTV, but he, he does such a good job great leading people. that soccer program. Softball, man, softball and baseball, the, the schedule has definitely been brutal and it's hard to get in a rhythm, but a lot of hardworking kids and, and they're out there grinding. It's crazy. It seems like we're just now getting to the point where you don't, where you know the games are going to be played. Uh, have you known, do you think the weather is shifting? I mean, spring sports, spring's gotten worse. It, well, it's not a global warming this is conversation, not a but, yeah, but it sure hasn't felt like global warming <laughs> this spring. Um, definitely the, the early April stuff is always nasty. We yeah. always count on that early in the season. The thing about this year is it extended into late April and extended into early May. Right. I know I was golfing with my twin a couple weeks ago. It was, I think it was in May, so maybe it was a week ago, and we were just getting drilled by right. hail bullets while we're golfing, <laughs> so that was a little atypical. There's Brody Shannon with the golf team. Golf always does a great job with Brian Haynes. Great. Sports name at Michigan Center. Oh, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Cook, and at Grass Lake, your older brother uh, got his 500th. Yeah, it's pretty win. good. Yeah, yeah, man, we don't even. So, I'm on a, a text chat group with my brothers and dad, and we don't even call him Roger anymore. He's just goat. We only send goat gifts, goat, goat images, because yeah. he's the greatest of all time. All timer. Uh, yeah. 22 years, and that's a lot of wins to accumulate in 22 years. Yeah. So he's done an incredible job. You really have to love what you're doing to uh, to to coach that long and um, really to have the success he ha has. You really got to love it. Yeah, and I, I mentioned this on a Facebook post. I came out of Facebook retirement to say something about him. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. My, my once every two year post. Um, he is universally lauded for just being him. The mm -hmm. wins are great, but the, the way that guy operates, I know for Michigan Center, our kids a few years back, and he's done this consistently showed up and he had bought seeds and lined them up in the dugout for the other team, not even for his own team. That's, that's cool. kind of stuff he does all the time. So uh, that's really he's, cool. he's a, a great guy who just happens to win a lot of games because he's a pretty dang good coach too. That's cool. 
the uh, Kiker Elementary students are going to be on the big stage of oh, yeah. the Michigan Theater this Saturday. Yeah, the Aristocats, baby, it's it's coming. So um, it's a, we have a, a Disney musical program. They put in a ton of work, the kids, the staff that are involved, and it's always fun to watch. So yeah. do you guys have anything uh, anything on the August ballot? Uh, that, that we need to be aware of? That is a great leading question, and yes, we do. So we are in the early stages. We just got our approval from the state of Michigan, and then we acted on it formally at Monday night's board meeting. So the, the Michigan Center community is going to hear a lot about this in the next few months. And ultimately what it is, um, it's kind of a two-part project. So the part one, we committed every bit of federal funding that we could toward it, and these are air quality projects. But unfortunately, that wasn't enough to pay for what we need to have done in the district. So um, what we're asking for from the voters is not a tax increase. We were very fortunate with uh, rising property values over time mm -hmm. that we were, to put it simply, we kind of able to refinance the bond so um, it wouldn't impact taxpayers at all until the 2016 30-year bond runs out and then it extends it, which we're able to potentially recoup $6.3 million in what will ultimately be only at this point, and it fluctuates over time, but a six year extension, which is awesome for us. And the, the project itself is the least glamorous project of all time. It's bringing fresh air in, it's giving us the ability to control temperatures, mm -hmm. it's converting to hot water where we can, and the bottom line is we have some outdated infrastructure just being 1940s 50s buildings right. this will keep us current and in the long term will save taxpayers a lot of money because if we don't do these kinds of things a few years down the road we're asking for a lot more money right. to rebuild buildings so you'll hear a lot about that thank you for asking yeah coming to the august ballot yes well we wish uh, you and your whole team the best as school winds up for the year and uh, congratulations to the Cardinals cl class of 23. Thank you. Keep up the excellent work. Yeah, we'll see you soon. All right, thanks guys. Superintendent Brady Cook, Michigan Center Schools. More of the morning show after this.